Well, let's see. I I can uh, spend some time in my shop now. I've got my uh, lawnmower apart as much as I can. And uh, when I get the parts in, I'll show that video. It's just a spindle, a mower deck spindle bearing that went bad. Really, really bad. And uh, I'll show you that whenever I get the parts in, I'll put that video together. But I'm in the shop now. I got a cup of coffee making. Oh, let me pick you up in a minute, okay? Let me pick you up in just a minute. Can you go lay down for a little while and I'll pick you up in a minute? But I want to talk about wood for just a minute. Uh, what you have here is two pieces of wood that, for all intents and purposes, are identical. They come from the same species of tree. As a matter of fact, they were cut in half, and they are identical in every way. So what you have, now this is my left hand. I don't know what this appears on the screen as but my wedding band is my left hand, so I'm gonna call this the left piece of wood. Represents this sawdust. The right piece of wood represents this sawdust. Now this sawdust and this sawdust are identical in every single way. Made from the same source, they lived and consumed the same things just like this and this are identical in every way. These somehow came to power over these two piles of sawdust. Even though they're identical in every way, to keep their power, what they did was divide the sawdust into smaller piles by economic status, by race, this piece has convinced this people that this sawdust should not have certain rights. So you have this sawdust that wants that right, and this sawdust that really doesn't care that much, and this sawdust who feels the same way, wants you to not have that right, and some that don't really care. So there, they have divided their sawdust into much smaller, more easily manageable piles, all taking orders from the same two pieces of wood that are identical in every single way, and don't really care about the well-being of this sawdust or the well-being of this sawdust because what they don't want you to notice is they both work for the same hand. They're controlled and told what to do and told what to say and told what laws to pass for their sawdust and they both behave the same way and neither piece of wood cares at all about the sawdust, they only care about the hand that feeds them. And the only way this sawdust is ever going to get out from underneath this hand is if all this sawdust comes together and remembers the most important thing their freedom, their sovereignty, their creator, and all the good things that this sawdust once represented, that these two pieces of wood has perverted and distorted and lied about and convinced you that you don't need or that you should hate other sawdust for wanting their life to be a certain way. These are the evil demons that this sawdust needs to overcome in order to live a happy and free life again. I'm getting back to work.